3D printing is not just for prototypes anymore. As a matter of fact, if people want to start there, that's fine. But we're really jumping into the tooling applications. How does it really go further? I'm Tim Weatherford, Chief Technology Officer with T. Weatherford Incorporated. We actually provide 3D printers. Um, we actually do the service on the 3D printers. We print lots of parts with 3DRapidPrint.com, but more importantly, we use these printers every day and we provide local service to our customers. We kind of fell into the service bureau part because a lot of our customers wanted to see specific parts. By us having multiple different technologies, maybe a customer only buys one technology, then if they need SLS or they need metals, um, we can provide that as well. Okay, so we start with what we call multi-jet modeling. This technology works just like a printer, uh, except we're never taking the paper out. So we have the mechanism that goes back and forth, and we actually are growing the parts um, through the, uh, the build process. So very durable, this is a ABS, very high surface finish. This is actually a tool that we ran in injection molded press. They wanted a short run tooling, yep. So we actually printed uh, the core in the cavity, put in an injection molded press, and actually get parts off of it. So next we have our sterile lithography uh, technology. This actually uh, was what started the whole 3D printing world. Uh, this was invented by Chuck Hall, who was the original founder of 3D Systems. He's still with the company, and he's really helping develop a lot more of the technologies that are coming to the market. And then we step into our color jet printing. Um, you can see this shoe looks very real. Um, we could print this in all color, and uh, this technology is extremely fast. So really good for, for durable models, to hand around, to approve designs for like the different treads that we'd have on the bottom of this sandal. Then we move into our SLS machines. So this is selective laser centering, and uh, this technology is very fast. Uh, it also produces very durable parts. So this is actually a nylon uh, material, so very sturdy. And you can see very complex geometry. Um, we can print these. You can actually bolt them up, use them in high temperature applications. So uh, Boeing, Bell Helicopter, quite a few other uh, aircraft manufacturers as well as uh, orthopedic companies have certified these materials. So a lot of the duct work that we don't see inside of uh, airplanes is actually 3D printed today and has been for many, many years. We uh, also get into uh, 3D metals printing we actually laser melt the, the powders. So in our technology, we have a patented uh, process where we compact the layer, which gets us really, really good detailed uh, surface finish on the parts, which you know really differentiates 3D systems. So we have FDM, we have multi-jet, we have film transfer, we have color jet, we have all kinds of different technologies all the way up to metals. So there's no one in the industry that has the breadth of these uh, of machines and technology. So if you focus on, on the uh, little thread, there's a little wire there, it's an 8,000 free, free standing post. Uh, on the side here we have a lattice, and then more importantly we have a 45 degree angle uh, part without any supports. So it's unique in our technology. All the other metals printers have to support geometry if it goes past 28 degrees. This actually is, a, is unique to our technology as well. So like in conventional machining, um, we can say that we want the machine tool to do a zig in, zig out pattern, a box in, box out. So these are different strategies that we can program our machine to do. So I can build this block out of one laser strategy, this one out of another, and so on and so forth. So what it helps people do is when we take this and we do the metrology on it, we can see which one is the best process for the most dense part, for instance, or surface finish. So, and that's very unique to our machine as well because we do write our own software that controls the machine. So we're setting up strategically located labs which will have the full breadth of technology. A customer could come in, not just see a machine run, but watch the whole process because to certify any of these uh, steps require money. And so if you can show them how we can eliminate steps, whether it's a post operation or a better surface finish that they can live with coming out of the technology or the machines, uh, the better off you are. Recently, we just added an online quote tool for both the tweatherford.com website and 3drapidprint.com. Customers can log in, get quotes, 
select the different technologies if they want those parts processed or if they just want an idea of what a part would cost to print. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.